Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Zeke the Crypto Miner, and today we're gonna be talking about the mindset of the stop loss. Let's get into it. All right, YouTube, we're back. If you're wondering what a stop loss is, what is a stop loss? A stop loss order is simply an order that closes out of the position at a specific price. It controls your risk by limiting your loss to that price. If you buy a stock at $20 and place a stop loss at $19.50, when that price reaches 1950, your stop loss order will execute, preventing further loss. So to explain exactly what that is, if I buy a stock at $20 and I set my stop loss at 1950, if it reaches that price, it's gonna automatically sell for me. If I'm away, if I'm out playing sports, if I'm on a on an airplane, when that uh, price hit that specific price point of 1950, it's gonna automatically sell that stock at 1950 and I don't have to uh, risk um, falling asleep at night uh, if you're trading Forex or being on a plane or away for business or somewhere where you don't have signal and that stock just plummeted from $20 and it had its, um, its market open and then it drops all the way down to $15. You do not have to worry about um, missing that much percent anymore by setting a stop loss. Sounds simple, right? Wrong. <laughs> you will only start to understand how difficult of setting a stop loss and sticking to it is once you start day trading or if you're a swing trader or even if you buy and sell stocks every now and then using Robinhood or NY Finance or any brokers that you use, you'll actually see how difficult it is to of the mindset of using your stop loss. The stop loss would be such a simple thing if only you used a robot and brought no emotions into the trade at all. In fact, the topic of stop loss deserves a book itself. Honestly, it really do. The interesting twist on the stop loss is that even though we know we're wrong 50% of the time, our ego behaves as if we have to be right 100% of the time. So but without any further notice, let's go ahead and dive into the mindset of the stop loss. When people say that they don't believe in the stop loss, what they're actually saying is that they don't like to admit that they're wrong. And they are often actually aware that there's something wrong. Yet, they are willing to take on more pain and more agony than rather to admit they're wrong, hoping that things will turn around and go back into the profit. Many times, it don't. Because if being profit means being right, that means losing money logically means that you're wrong. Therefore, any loss is a self attack constructed by your ego itself. And since your ego always wants to be right and always wants to protect itself at any cost, we sacrifice profit. And while you're doing that, you're suffering pain the entire time, your ego. We are not born eager to take profits early, quite the contrary in fact. Beginner's luck stands for taking big risks on a low probability event something no seasoned player would never dare. We become risk adverse after a few painful losses. We seek profits evaporate before our eyes and we want to keep some of it next time. Basically, risk to reward. People would take profit at five, $10 while they're in profit. That's what I do. I take profit when I'm five, $10 in, but Without a stop loss, they're willing to risk $40 to $50 losing, hoping that that market, that stock, that ticker symbol would turn back around. So you're willing to risk $40 to $50. It's going down $40, down $48. Now you're down $50, hoping that it would turn back around just so you could break even. So your mindset is that you would take profit at $5 and $10, but when you're losing $5 and $10, you won't take your loss and move on to the next ticker symbol just so that you can get back into the market and hopefully make your money back but you actually keep moving your stop loss down or you don't set a stop loss at all now you're down twenty dollars now you're down twenty five dollars but when you could have just cut your losses at five ten dollars if you're willing to profit five and ten dollars why not just cut your costs at five and ten dollars other than let it just keep going down 
So that's a big mindset that I had when I first started day trading or swing trading is that I would let it go down. I didn't have a clear goal on my take profits. I didn't have a clear goal on my stop loss. So stop loss is very important. Do not risk more than you're willing to gain, okay guys? So if you if you wanna profit $15, $20, do not let it go long, lower than $15, $20 loss. Do not let it go down to $30, $40, $50 loss. To sitting in there taking it, hoping that the market turns back around. So that's number two right there for you. All right, here's another one. If someone handed you the keys to the sexiest car on earth, but whispered in your ear, the brakes do not work, would you still drive it? No, you would not. The stop loss is the brakes. You might not like them, but they will keep you alive. Do not remove the stop loss once you set it. So you're asking, when should I set a stop loss? How do I set a stop loss? You should always set your stop loss at least five minutes or a minute before you actually take a position in that trade. Stop losses are necessary to calculate position size. If you do not, if you do not set a set limit on how much you can afford to lose, you may fail to appreciate what the market has in store for you. Do not trust your brain into setting a mental stop loss because your brain would trick you to moving that stop loss down, thinking that the market might turn around. Because your brain would be like, it can't go any lower. It can't go any lower. But in actuality, it goes lower. So let's dive into Think or Swim and take a look at actually how I go about setting my stop loss and take profits before I actually enter a trade. Let's get into it. All right, guys, here we are. I just pulled up Think or Swim. Let's get into it. All right, so this is Think or Swim, the platform I use to set up my trades. Um, as many of you guys know, if you subscribe to the channel, I love trading AMD. I follow it in everything that they do. So let's zoom in a little bit on the five minute one day chart. Actually, it is the five minute five day chart. If we look here to yesterday's low was around $28.03. So let's draw yesterday low right there. And yesterday's high was at $28.85. So let's say if the market opens tomorrow at 20, where it closed at, at $28.30, and I want to, to enter a trade. I would set my stop loss maybe one cent below yesterday low at 28.03. I would set my stop loss at 28.02, all right? So what I'm saying is that once I set my stop loss at 28.02, I'm not going to move it. Why did I pick 28.02? It's because it's one cent below yesterday low. And if you actually look at it, my profit of margin of profits is 2% if it rises all the way up to yesterday's high and if it falls I will only lose 1.92%. So my margin of profit outweighs my margin of loss. So I see that as that's how I set my stop loss. My stop loss is all my profit will always outweigh my stop loss by a few percent or by a few bucks or so. So that's how I said my stop loss is pretty simple. It sounds simple, but once, if the market opens right here and it dips down a little bit, a lot of people will say, oh, it's still early in the stock market and it might recover later on, but it could, it could just tank. It could just tank and keep going down. So no one really can predict the stock market. All you can do is read the charts and <laughs> pretty much hope for the best, okay? Pretty much hope for the best. So, so yeah, YouTube, that's it. That is the mindset of the stop loss. Go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. Comment, have you ever had any bad stop loss situation down in the comments below? But uh, I'm gonna be upgrading my channel pretty soon. You guys already see I got a new mic. So go ahead, subscribe to the channel. Peace. Bye.